Hello everyone, this is Blank. We are back on another episode of Nomadcraft. For this video, we are going to be going over the first, uh, well, the old world. Not the first level, it's the old world. Which I guess is the first level. But that being said, it has been some time. I took basically two weeks to do this, roughly. Um, yeah, it, it was a lot of work. But... That being said, I kind of really want to get right into it, but if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if, if you like the video, like the video, comment on what you liked about it, what you want to see more of, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Uh, but before I do actually show you guys all of this, it's done. Level 2 is technically done, which is crazy. The whole find a key is done. Only thing that's not done is doing the redstone. So we have redstone all the way to deep dark over there. I have to basically bring it around and connect it somewhere in this general area. That's the only thing that's not done. Um, plus I'm gonna have to probably do some other, there's also some redstone I have to do, but for the most part it's done and that's what matters. Um, but yeah. I guess we'll go right on into it and give you a little sneak preview. So, here's what we got. Uh, obviously, tried to make it look kind of like a snow biome. It's not going to be perfect, but it's not too bad. Also, got to put a sign here. Just a, eh, it's fine. We'll figure it out. I uh, got some snow golems patrolling, um, but. Other than that, it should be spawn pre. Spawn pre. Spawn free, I should say. I wonder what spawn pre is. We'll never know. But yeah, I've got a few snow bombs. Just these are the villagers of the snow pile. Very nice. Got some igloos. And obviously, some of them go somewhere, some do not. Um, but here we'll have this one which goes down to the next level. So there's five biomes that I created. I created a snow biome. I created a jungle biome. I then created a desert temple biome, a, or just a desert temple, I should say. Then we created the, uh, also here's like more of the jungle. It's not exactly a jungle temple, but hey, I, I wasn't going for exact. Um, and then, Got a sea temple like area. And well. And then finally we end with a village. But here's the first trap. And I'm not gonna do the first trap because well it's already hooked up, there's redstone to it, there's stuff inside, got some special arrows in each one of them. Uh, obviously this one is weakness, but there's some other ones that could do more damage. So that's why we're just gonna skip right over it. And then obviously we have some decoy doors right there and there, but this one, obviously this middle one will go to the next phase. Climb up all the way to the staircase. And then we get, looks like, kind of like a desert temple. Not exact. Uh, obviously, there would be a another ceiling, kind of like at this level, uh, with some pillars going down. I really wanted to make it more open. I think it actually makes the whole room a lot more vibrant. Also more spacious, which clearly... But I wanted to maybe put some pots in here. Uh, not entirely sure. I might do that at some point. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of shirts, so I can't do any special ones. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll put in some pot, like some of those pots or something. We will never know. But anyways, uh, I think it came in that one. I think, yeah, I think I came in that one. 
which means this one is the way down. Yes. Also, I'm going to take off these two things that, because I have depth strider 3 and aqua affinity and respiration 3 on this, so you guys can see it's actually legit. So, pretty simple. Just dive down, got a door here. Go upwards. So, it's not actually meant for the players to drown in here, but obviously, if players are not careful, they can happen. And then just swim right on up, and we are in the village. Now this one I actually did try to make as realistic as possible. Um, it's not going to be exact, like I said, but try to make it look very much like a village. We even got an iron gold, which I probably should have made. Yeah, maybe later. Or that could be a little secret task that players could do. Who knows? But yes, I have a pig. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this is the pig that was at my original base for the entire season. Uh, so if you saw any little clips of that, uh, yeah, this is it. But I will say uh, I do this every season. Uh, I will be doing also a second part of it uh, when I figure out the... Um, actually, I'm not going to say that part, because obviously I'm going to have to figure where I'm going to put the Allay. So, but obviously you guys know every season since 2023, no, 2022. Yeah, since 2022, uh, every series I have done in some way, I have included two people, like in memory. And uh, if you are, if you don't know that, I always do it. I always have. Just it's, it's my thing that my little thing that I like to do. But for this season, uh, I'm including technically to be part of the overworld village. So technoblade, obviously, it would be great if I could actually make it where the the pig has a crown. That would be perfect. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a resource. Well, there's probably a resource pack for it. I just don't have a resource pack. Um, so if you guys know a resource pack that does it, let me know in the comments. I would be actually very open to that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I do this every season. Tekken Blade, obviously, you will be a pig <laughs> this season. Last couple ones, last series. Last season, I put a sword. I named a sword after Tekken Blade. Uh, yeah, yes, I did. Um, and then I also named a pickaxe after TFC. In the Stonebox series, I created a giant sword and a giant pickaxe after both of them. So, uh, obviously, you can see where the lay will come into play for TFC. But, or if you don't know who TFC is, it is Tinfoil Chef. He was a part of the Hermitcraft series. But yeah, um, that being said, it's. This is meant to be a short deal. I Unfortunately, there is no building today. I did all the building. I know. Boom. Um, but yeah, that's it's something I really like. This was something I was like, okay, I need to get this done as fast as possible. Um, but also, I kind of forgot to record at times. And I was like, okay, I just completely focused. I think I got this whole room done in a day which is impressive. So considering that, there is quite a lot here. Um, oh, also, oh, hello, villagers. Yep, I, got, I brought two villagers here, which is, that was not fun. And then this is the way to the deep dark. But yeah, um, that being said, I know it's going to be a short video. I don't really have too much else going on. Um, I'm probably going to start working on the first puzzle, the escape room, starting next week. Um, there might be some videos of that. I don't
don't know for sure. Uh, there might be just some more of the Infinite Craft videos. I am enjoying doing that, and hopefully you guys are too. Uh, but that being said, I will also be doing a live stream for level 1 testing for at least a little bit of it. Not the entire... Uh, I keep saying level 1. Sorry. Find the key. I will be doing uh, uh, a Twitch stream of Find the Key with the person that helped me out with the Labyrinth unit. So unit will be testing this out as well. He will be doing, obviously, the Overworld and the Deep Dark. Uh, Deep Dark yet is... We're unsure yet. I'll figure out if I have all the redstone done for that. Um, I might just have like a little switch or do some really simple redstone and then just flip the switch when he's doing it or not. Make my job a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Nonetheless, uh, obviously it's going to be a short video. Hopefully that's all right. Hopefully you guys like the rooms that we actually created. Uh, we got the little memorial thing that we always do, or that I always do, in pretty much any Minecraft series I'm on. And uh, yeah, I have a new channel. Feel free to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. See you.